Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn how to use advanced features of set actions in Tableau 2020.2. Tableau came up with set action features in the version 2018.3 and the latest feature of set actions were introduced in Tableau version 2020.2, which was a game changer. And we are going to discuss today how to use these advanced features to do various scenarios. So let's get started. As you can see in this dashboard, we have different categories and we are showing the bar chart as per the sales happening under each of these categories. And on the right hand side, we are showing the pie chart which shows the percentage of each of these categories. So in this case, none of the categories selected, so it's showing 100%. So let me show you how set action works in this case. So before we get into that, let me click on each of these individual categories and you will see when we click on each of these subcategories, we are selecting only that particular subcategory and showing on the right hand side, all these three subcategories are added and shown as 12% of the overall uh, sales happening for all of these subcategories. So this means that the appliances, furnishing and paper contribute to 12% of the sales. And if we add more, let's say storage, the total contributes to 21% of the sales. So that's what set action can be used for as one particular scenario. And as we go into details, I will show you how it can be used for other scenarios. So without any further delays, let's get started with a blank workbook. So for this, we'll be using Sample Superstore data set. So first of all, we will create a new data source and connect to Sample Superstore data set. And then we'll be bringing subcategory fields into row shelf. This will give us all the subcategories in the row. And then maybe we will try to bring any measure. So in this case, we can bring sales and we will convert the chart into bar chart. And you can see all the bars here and we will change it into descending order. So we can see all the bars together. And maybe if we want to show the label marks with the number dollar amount on the uh, as a legend, then we can do it that way. Okay, so now we got the subcategories in this format and I will create another calculation uh, and I will just call it true. What this will do is I'm using creating this calculate to highlight the rows which are selected. So this will be used to overwrite the existing highlight feature in Tableau. So I'm just creating this field and bringing into detail shelf. So it's nothing but just creating a true calculation for each and individual row. So you will see true word across the table for each individual row. Okay, so while we have created this one, I will name the sheet as bar chart and I will create a duplicate sheet and I will change it to pie chart and I will just change the chart type to pie and I want to see all of this and I will change the quick table calculation as a percentage of total and I will bring it into the mark shelf and I will also bring the two calculation which we created into the details. So now that we have created bar chart and pie chart, let's go and create a category set, which we will be just right clicking on the subcategory and create a set. And we will give the name subcategory set. And let's say in this case, we select chairs, click OK. And in the bar chart, we will bring the subcategory set uh, just in order to show you how it works. So when we bring the subcategory set, you can see in and out in this column. So we have only selected chair in this case, so that's selected as an in. Okay, now let's bring the category set into the color shelf as well. You can see 
this is the only one selected right okay now let's create a dashboard first of all we'll bring the bar chart and i will just remove the labels from here and then i will bring the pie chart just to show you as an example how it will work and i will remove all these labels and create it as a fit width as an entire view and i will fit this as an entire view as well so we can see it here and i will just do a bit of formatting to remove the background color so here you can see it okay so now we will go to dashboard tab and create actions and in this case i will create a change set value action okay so here are the new feature which i was talking about so if you see on the left hand side where we are saying running the action will assign the value to a set or add the value to a set or remove the value from a set this was introduced in 2020.2 version and that's the latest feature prior to this we already had clear the selection will keep the value add the value to the set or remove so this right hand side of this window was already there in the prior version but this is what is introduced in the no version new version and by default it's always selected to all assign all uh, values to the set and add all values to the set so let's use it with this one and I will say in the set, the subcategory set, which we have created. So we are assigning that. So by default, we are saying when we click on the button, assign the value to a set. And when we clear the selection, it will just keep those values added to the set. So let's try that option. Click OK. And also, I would like to create a highlight filter, which will be based on the selected field. And I have selected true the field which I have created earlier, which I mentioned before. Okay, so click on that and you will see the difference. So when I click on tables, it has selected that one. And as I click on each of these ones, it is selecting all of these ones. You can see it here. And now I want, if you see the pie chart is not changing, right? So this is because I haven't added the action to that value. So I have to say, <coughs> um, add it on the pie chart as well. So it says missing value on the pie. So let's check why is it not happening. So it is showing it as 100%, okay. Let's go back here and it's showing it as 100%. And I haven't brought the colors in here. The so subcategory set which I will bring it here. So now you can see it. Okay, so this is contributing 6.5% and when I click on this one, so right now with our initial selection, we are just adding one value to the set. And if you click outside, it will bring everything in the set. So let's check the other settings. Go to actions and edit the set. And here I will say add the value to the set and keep those set values so click ok and so by default it is all there so let me unselect these values first so i will just go into this set and i will just edit the set in this case first give me a set and i will say none of the values are selected by default so with those setting when i click on these ones you will see all of these values are added in the set right and if i click outside it will not remove all the values because i have set the selection that on clearing just keeps the values which you have selected so it will be keeping all the values we have selected and it will be adding on the pie chart here now let's try the third setting where we are saying add the values to the set but i want to remove all the values from the set once we uncheck that click ok so when i click outside it removed all the values from the set see 
we are adding the values and whenever we want to remove we can click outside and it will remove it and let's try another one and you might be seeing this error missing file on pi so i believe we don't need this so if we click that it will work the same way so we don't need to add it onto the pie chart because the set action is working for both of them together okay so the third type is remove the values from the set when it's already selected and <clears throat> keep the set values so what it will do is so right now it's already removed right so it won't be adding so let's say by default if it uh, includes all the values and then by clicking on each of these ones it will be removing it it will be removing all the values from the set and when you click outside nothing happens because that's the clearing setting we have done so if we go back to this one and we say uh, remove all the values from the set and remove value all the values from the set here as well or we can do it add all the values to a set so you can play around with these different options um, based on your requirement so here i'm saying just keep on removing so once i click on that it will add all the values back to the set okay so the another thing which i would like to show clear is you can also create multiple settings so in this case if i say uh, add the values to the set or let's take this as an example so remove the values from the set and keep the set values and we can go to the menu item and we can say remove from the set okay and we will create another set value action where we will say add to the set and here we will say add to the set and add value to the set okay and in here we when we are removing so we are removing all of that okay so first of all when we hover over to these ones or when we click on these ones it will give you the option remove from the set so we can click on that one and it will remove from the set and the other option which we did here add to the set i will change it to menu as well so you can see both the values here when i click on this one it will say remove from the set and when i want to click it again on this one i want to add it back to the set we can click on that one and it will add back to the set it's not working so let me check why it is not happening so remove is working fine let's try remove remove is working fine and let's check the add action what's wrong in this one so assign the values to the set and add the value to the set that's what we need okay and if i click on that one add to the set it's still not working let's try again so add to the set and we are saying so that value is already removed and keep the set value so we want to say oh we haven't selected the set see that's the problem and <coughs> add value to the set okay so now when we click on that and we say add to the set it's bringing back to the set see so that's how you can play around with the advanced feature of features of set action hope that you enjoyed this session and for more such tutorials please visit my channel and we'll catch you next time